All right, we're back with part two of the Kalo Hemp Infused Seltzer Review. Hey there, and jroot22.com, and we're back with an update regarding the Kalo Hemp Infused Seltzer, and maybe a little bit more about HCBD products in general. Now, we bought uh, $100 worth of this Kalo, because that's what they needed for free shipping. Now, by the way, the last time I checked, it's only $35. I wouldn't have bought that much of it. But, you know, they come in these little nice four packs, uh, Kalo, Kalo boxes. I got the miscellaneous, uh, I guess, variety pack. So I got uh, four of each uh, can. So four, t I had 20 cans, so I had five cans of uh, four flavors. And... Uh, I got some comments on my previous uh, Kalo review saying, oh, this is a big deal, this is a big deal. And I guess it is a little bit of a big deal. Let me just explain. The uh, Kalo brand of hemp-infused seltzers, but I think the only brand, and I forget who makes it, uh, I forget the parent company. I'm, I can put it in my comments if I remember the parent company or a company that does this patented process where they infuse the the CBD into the water, which makes it taste really good. Because from what I understand, I've never had it, but uh, the other lesser inferior products um, of the CBD drinks have this oily kind of uh, like gross uh, texture and taste. And I have to say the Kalo brand uh, seltzer, I thought it tastes really good. Uh, it's non-alcoholic, of course, but, um, and then that I think is, I guess, kind of important, but, um, there's no aftertaste, there's antioxidants and minerals. Apparently, it's, it's not toxic, okay? It's, uh, it's a good drink. I, it's not going to cure anything uh, uh, medicinally, uh, maybe mentally. But anyway, and I, I said in my first video that, you know, I sort of thought I felt good. And I was uh, chastised a little bit saying, oh, it's not, it's not supposed to make you high. Well, I didn't say high, I said felt good. And it, I, th I believe it was a little bit psychosomatic because, you know, after drinking 20 cans, and I bought more, I, I bought more, I'm going to try it a second time, a whole vat of it, a whole lot of it, I should say. Um, here's what I know about, what I think I know about CBD type products. And it break, breaks down into two distinct categories. One is that it's supposed to help with anxiety. And apparently, 100, 500 million people worldwide, which is like, I don't know, a tenth of the, or a fifteenth of the world's popu population, um, has anxiety. And anxiety, I guess, includes panic attacks, where you, uh, um, Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what chemical imbalance or mental issue causes anxiety. I don't have anxiety. And there's also another thing that's supposed to make you feel... Uh, less pain. And I'm not sure what kind of pain they're talking about. Knee pain, back pain, uh, headaches. It, it, they don't really talk about it. I mean, I haven't done crazy research. You can, you know, read me the riot act if I'm getting it uh, way too generalized. But so since I don't have pain or panic attacks or anxiety attacks, I tried to figure out maybe I had some similar situations here in my life. And that one of them was stress. And let's say you have three kids running around the house being unruly and not listening to you. And it's like Chinese water torture over and over and over for hours upon hours all day. And I don't know if I'd call that anxiety, but it's stress and maybe a little um, anger and, uh, you know, I, I don't know if that's stress. But and another one, and I, I tried the Kalo during one of the worst times in the last two weeks, hoping it would just kind of level me out and make me handle the uh, ridiculous uh, circumstances at my house and it didn't really change anything. I didn't become any more tolerant to uh, the nonsense. And so let's just say it didn't really work for me there. I'm, did I feel a little bit better? Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not sure. And uh, the next thing I thought it would really work on is a hangover. Now I, long, long, long time ago when I was eating carbs, I would get, I, I would get semi panic attacks when I was hung over because I was overweight and carby and I, I don't. I guess being low carb really helps with anxiety and panic attacks. But I, th I, I was hung over the other day because I drank a god like way more than I should have one night. I'm pretty good at keeping under control. But I tried it on a hangover. Like 
Whereas in the past, I got a little panicky and it didn't really make my hangover go away. You, what, the thing that makes my hang hangovers and most other people's hangovers go away is time and hydration and maybe a little rest and maybe some extra sleep. Uh, if you wake up and you just can't take it, just go back to sleep for a few hours and it usually gets rid of the hangover. But so like I said, it, it did minimal. I maybe felt something and at worst, maybe it was just purely psychomatic because I was hoping that the drink would uh, make my stress and hangover go away. So I can't say uh, for sure if, if it worked. And uh, it's just very hard for me to gauge any efficacy of this kind of product. And uh, I just wanted to say, this is an important side, roll, side note. I bought some hemp uh, cigarettes, I guess you could say. Uh, they're called pre-rolls from a really nice company called Appalachian Standard. This is not sponsored. They don't even know me from anybody else in this world. And I bought these little pre-rolls and they're very low. They're CBD cigarettes that you, uh, I guess, enjoy uh, outside or whatever. And um, they smell very much like marijuana. I mean, you could, uh, if you got pulled over and the canine dog was there, they would immediately uh, think that you have something in the car. But um, and they have very low uh, THC. I think the, the, the federal or state level is 0.3% um, THC. I looked up on their, uh, they have these certificates of uh, testing on their website. And some of them were 0 0.8, 0 0.9. I, I don't know what these numbers, they didn't seem to make sense. But I also tried those. And I think the THC, there was a, enough in it to make you feel a little bit, I guess, buzzed. Uh, but not like the the uh, the reefer joints uh, that that uh, people uh, enjoy the full strength ones. So I, I again I, it didn't really since I don't have any of these ailments that this CBD is supposed to treat. I can't really say I was like high as a kite or anything like that. So but anyway I wanted to get back uh, the, this Kalo website and I I admire them for their marketing. They have very clean marketing. And it's just very general and ambiguous. But they have they do have phrases on their website such as uh, stress less and feel good. So to me, that if, that if I followed that slogan, that uh, would help me with my child rearing stress, and it didn't. And another one, another really, drink what makes you happy. Well, water makes me happy very much, and coffee, and wine, and, and uh, alcoholic seltzer. I don't know, I drink what makes you happy. I think most people voluntarily put drinks that are acceptable in their body. So, I don't know. But you see these images I have rotating in the background. I, I snag them off their, their web website and they're just these like kind of happy feel good people and that's just uh you know a par for the course with, with any marketing they show happy people mixed races it's always they have to cover all their bases so they don't get the politically correct police after them and all these angry karens oh you didn't have enough color in the it's so ridiculous but um i don't know I'm not knocking the product. I'm trying to make it work for me. I'm trying to see if it does anything. And I can't feel like it does anything really beneficial for me. Maybe I'm one of the lucky people that doesn't have an affliction that needs to be treated by some $5 a can little pop, soda pop. Um, but if it helps people and uh, other people truly, even if it's psychosomatic, if they get benefit out of drinking these things and it makes their life better, I can't knock it. I mean, heck, we've, I think we've spent 200 bucks on this stuff already and we haven't even gotten a free t-shirt or anything fun from these guys at all. I mean, I mean, it would be nice if they said, hey, look at this guy's order. He's bought X amount. Let's send him a t-shirt. I don't know. But uh, if you swear by it and it works and you can really, really say it works, I... Uh, I can't knock you for it. And maybe one day I'll be anxious for real and, and I'll try it and I'll say, wow, it really does work. So that's it. Have a great day. If you like our videos, please hit the subscribe and the bell and all that nonsense. And uh, we'll see you next video.